The stakes in Ukraine could not be higher, with the Russian military making direct attacks on civilian targets like apartment buildings. And given Vladimir Putin's apparent willingness to escalate, Russian experts are now speculating about his mental state. Evaluating Vladimir Putin's state of mind, a top priority now. Even in Russia, citizens are buzzing. The Russian people may be starting to think Putin is insane, goes this headline. I tell you, I think this guy's nutter. You think he's just kind of losing it? Yes, I do. Angela Stent is a senior fellow at the Brookings Institution and is one of many who've been sensing that something in Putin has changed. Two years of isolation during the pandemic uh, maybe have affected him. Maybe his grip on reality is somewhat less than it was before. I was very struck by the deeply ideological bordering on fanatical language that was in his speech the other day, far, far more than we've ever seen before. He's grown more resentful, more isolated, more erratic, more furious at almost everybody and everything. He's hitting a NICU, a neonatal unit, a hospital with those babies in it. Senator Marco Rubio, the top Republican on the Intelligence Committee, tweeted this. I wish I could share more, but for now I can say it's pretty obvious to many that something is off with Putin. He has always been a killer. But his problem now is different and significant. It would be a mistake to assume that Putin would react the same way he would have five years ago. You met with Putin at least a half a dozen times. Yeah. You describe him differently today, too. Why? Well, I met with him many times, uh, and uh, this is a different Putin. He seems uh, erratic. Uh, there is uh, an ever-deepening uh, delusional rendering of history. He's descending into something that I personally haven't seen before. The perception among some foreign leaders is that Putin's mental health has deteriorated very rapidly, very recently. The president of Finland, who's kept up a regular dialogue with Putin for years, said after a recent phone call, he had a marked change in behavior. This is a man who's always sort of prided himself on emotional control, and he showed very strong flashes of anger that are, is apparent for everyone to see. I'm really starting to question the, the competency mental fitness. He seems to be delusional, very isolated. He doesn't talk to many people. He has people around him who don't challenge him. And I think that's the danger. And that's why it's very hard to predict his actions on the basis of any rationality. If Putin was acting rationally, he certainly wouldn't take the huge risk of an invasion. He would take the best offer he can get through negotiations. He has so often acted in a way that is very damaging to Russia's interests. There are plenty of people who think he's become deranged, unhinged by present events. What we have seen over the recent weeks and months is a man who seems to be very emotional and who has started an invasion which has produced politically and internationally precisely the opposite effect to that which he wanted. He is quite irrational at the moment. An irrational man under pressure with nuclear weapons um, is not a happy sight to see. Senior national security official who accompanied President Trump to his meeting with Putin tells me Putin seemed paranoid and unwilling to listen to reason. Mikhail Khodorkovsky is in the Times this morning saying he's a madman. The Russian leader could be completely off his rocker. I yeah. think he's a little unhinged. I, I really do. He might be crazy. Is, is this guy sane? Is he mad? Is he rational? Is he irrational? What is he? Are we dealing with psychological phenomena? Are we dealing with, with psychiatric phenomena? Bloodthirsty invaders belong to the loony bin, not any country. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. For more details, watch related fly-in news. Supreme Master Ching Hai's thoughts on the urgent situation in Ukraine. Free for download on SupremeMasterTV.com.